Get ready to match the stars. Greg Morris, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Elaine Jarius, Richard Dawson, and Fanny Flagg as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Raymond! Doesn't it seem as if we did this just yesterday? It certainly does. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm back. Yes, you are. <laughs> Listen, you've really got to lose some weight. Oh, no. <laughs> Friends, look at that. Oh. Yeah. You rotten kid. Get down there. That's what happens if you eat your vegetables. <laughs> look at her. Holy oh. mackerel. You're a whole different person. I am? Yeah, no, that's the same person I remember. <laughs> and you, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, let's look. Go ahead, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Now, give him a kiss. I'm afraid to kiss him. Do it. I have no doubts about my manhood. I'll ah. kiss another man if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was exciting. <laughs> now, what do you say we say hello to Penny Richardson and Mickey Thompson? How are you, Penny? Now, don't wring your hands together like that. You're not nervous anymore. Yeah. You've been here week after week, haven't you? I know. How much money have you won? Um, I think $6,550. $6,550 is exactly right. Congratulations to you. $6,550, is that what she's won? How'd she do that? I don't know. It seems like an odd amount, but that's what we've got up there. And she's being challenged here by Mickey Thompson. Mickey has had her first round question, matched one of our celebrities, and we'll come to you in a moment or so. But first, we want to come to this, and you hurry right back. Now we are ready to carry on. So let's push this button here, reveal our other first round question. Penny, this is all yours. Everyone will play. Marvin said, I went to this horrible restaurant and ordered a toss salad. It was tossed, all right. The chef tossed his blank in it. <laughs> Gene? Yes? I want to tell you something. I'm yes, my dear. I have my answer. You're all Greg finished. and Charles and I are very upset because you only greeted the, <laughs> the people on the oh. first <laughs> oh. 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 Charles was crying, and so was Greg during the commercial. Right in the answer, one who Don't kiss me! <laughs> Read it, read it he did again. what? Is it his got it. Matter? Where is it? Yes. Is this your show? No, here it is. Marvin said I went to this horrible restaurant and ordered a tossed salad. It was tossed all right. The chef tossed his blank in it. <laughs> okay. Okay, put that in a slot. That's all right. Charles, think of something now, Charles. Unlike old wine. You are going to stay in the business, aren't you, Charles? Charles! Look at him. Wait a minute, what is that music? What is that music? Is that, that our music? Yeah. No. Is that new stuff? I didn't know. I, didn't I hate it, just like the old stuff. Salt game, 70. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, All right, I'll get it. You will get it. I will walk slowly over to Penny Richardson. It's an easy one, Charles. First round, when questions are wide open. You can almost say anything and match Penny Richardson. <laughs> She's a weirdo, too. Marvin said, you ready? Here we go. I went to this horrible restaurant, ordered a tossed yeah, salad. Nice, it? it was tossed all right. The chef tossed his blank in it. His hat. His hat. <laughs> all right, she said hat. You don't like hat? Wait a minute. Let's take it easy. Seems like an unlikely answer, doesn't it? <laughs> all right. It does. You're doesn't doing it? your eyes differently, aren't you? Yeah, Look great. Over here. Oh, terrific. Greg. <laughs> what? That's what? a ridiculous answer. The chef tossed his hat in it. Ridiculous answer. Yes, it's ridiculous. That's the reason I put it down. Oh, ho. Hat is what he said. Yeah. Now you were almost the first one finished there. What'd you say? Sure, I went, I, I went, I went for it. What did you say? Uh, Hubert Humphrey always used to say everybody tossed their hat in the ring. I said he tossed his cookies. Tossed his cookies in it. <laughs> well, I thought there were two choices. I'm glad I don't. Say it. No, well, listen. 
Those are the breaks. Go ahead, honey. Show them your answer. <laughs> <laughs> Got a winner also? <laughs> Cookies. <laughs> Sounds like Sesame Street. Cookie! I don't get <coughs> What? Cookies. I don't get it. Tossed his cookies? Yeah. It's just. I'm not going to explain it. So <laughs> let's get on here. Okay. I thought I have a very good answer. I said the chef tossed his hat in it. His hat? Did you see that? Just my hat. Thank you, yeah. Whoa. Maybe Please Richard, who is. Uh, Pretty reliable and dependable. We'll give an answer that the audience will not boo. What do you say to that? Cookies. Well, it, it was tossed all right. The I chef know the tossed. chef very yeah. well. He's not the strongest person in the world. Oh yes. Tossed his hair in it. Tossed his hair in it. <laughs> you know, I have to agree with you. I want the names of you. those three guys. <laughs> oh, three girls. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Very all right, maybe Fanny, who is usually pretty weird, will give us a straight answer. I'd like my horse tied up for a fast getaway. I said wig. Wig, yeah. All right. Well, what would you have said? Hey. Oh, we'll all you say hat now, either, do surely. You? <coughs> you are a bunch of weirdos out there. Okay, Penny, there you go. The score at the end of round one is two to one in favor of our champ. Mickey, you may have A or B here. B, B it is. All right, Mickey okay. wants B. David said. Now it's David. David said, you know the game show I've got a secret? He sure. Says, well, there's a new game show about my first wife. It's called I've Got a Blank. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who's David? David, anybody. Oh, David, anybody. George oh, Henry, Sam, David David said, you know, I've got a secret. Well, there's a new game show about my. It's called I've Got a. My first wife. You see, he is no longer with her. They are yeah. divorced now. I understand. Divorced. Divorced. Yes, I understand that. That means separated legally. Right. Certainly, I understand all of it. I just don't uh, understand the question. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you, when you live things, it's good. tricky to catch on to That's them. That's right. So. <laughs> There's one so oh, there obvious. Is. No, the answer is so new obvious. Game. I got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I mean, I've got to see it. Charles and I are in no, terrible no, trouble up here. Okay. Charles is in terrible trouble, too, because I haven't written anything down, so he can't think of it. But I'm not playing. I always. Oh, yes. It's easy for you to say. I always harass you or him because he's the last. Look who's the last. Isn't that wonderful? I can't think of anything. That's very good, though. About well, thank the you. I'm happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't distract her. She hasn't no, written wait, an I answer yet. Oh, come I can, on. We said, I've got a new... I've got a new my first of... wife. They're turning off well, their sets. Well, there's a new game show about me. It's called... I've got a cookie. Put that down. <laughs> 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 uh, Brad. We're going to start with Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't think of it. I'm going to tell Come on, okay. Brad. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear me. She's a professional. At least she says she's a professional. <laughs> professional what? Is okay. Now, Mickey. David's in another game show. I've got a secret. He said, well, there's a new game show about my first wife. And it's called I've Got a... Hag. Headache. She got the answer. I don't see why you couldn't think of it. No, she didn't want that. Headache? Oh. No, she, no, she said, said hag. hag. What? Your answer is better than mine. What did you I say? Hag. Hag. H-A-G. Hag. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, Mickey, that's perfect. What did she dreadful. say? She said hag. Oh, well, I think you your say? answer is terrible. A headache. What does he care if his first wife has got a headache? No, no. Oh, what did you with say? Another lady. Isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> but you see, well, that's the reason they got divorced. Oh, well, you should have put that up front. I <laughs> never understood. That. Well, I said they were divorced. Let me see this. The reason they got divorced was. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Greg. What did you say? She said, "Hag." An unlikely possibility, but we got to go through the motions anyway. I said, "Dud." Dud. Hey, rotten. Yeah, I love that. That's word. That's another rotten answer. You Brett. Dud. Perk up. You kids, you're gonna be crazy about my answer uh, after those two. I've got a boyfriend. Okay. You mean that's worse than Hag and Dud? You know, I'm beginning to believe there's. Uh, what do you say? He doesn't play. Play. Oh, he doesn't play. You'll waste oh. all of your time there. Right, him. right. <laughs> Hello, it down for you. It's a new game show about my first wife. It's called I've Got a Hag, according to her. Oh, well, I saw the game show, and he said, I've got an albatross. Albatross? <laughs> you expected there to... Well, you've been reading The Ancient Mariner? A... <laughs> Look, that guy stood up. You can think one... <laughs> you can think one either, huh? 
Oh, I Here, did. Here, use though. albatross. No, no. Oh, really? I've got an alimony check. <laughs> I've got an alimony check. <laughs> now, Miss Guy sat down again. Oh, that's not that good. Fanny? I understood this. You did it. This is a Goods and Todman game show starring Brett Summers, right? Right. right. And it's called I've Got a Fortune. I will. Okay. Nikki? No, they didn't match that either. But good luck to you. We got lots of gifts for you together with our thanks. Yeah, Mickey Thompson, right. there she goes. And I was spinning her off. I'm going to spend these messages just for you. All right, Judy. Here we are. Are you ready? Yes. You've been here before. You know how this goes. Shall we go right to it? Okay. My dear lady, we polled a recent studio audience and we got their best response to this. Picture blank. Now, the answer that group gave most frequently is worth $500 if you match it. If you match the next one, you get $250, and the bottom one gets you $100. Three of our celebrities are permitted to assist by suggesting answers. You may call on them one at a time. Oh, take Richard. Picture, Picture frame. frame. Picture frame. Okay, there's one. Charles? Did you say Charles? Yes. Charles? He's doing it. Picture, Picture puzzle. Picture puzzle. Oh, oh. there's two. I like Fanny. You like Fanny. I like Fanny too. Here, darling, here's a little note for you. Picture I don't you like upon those. my. Oh, all right. <laughs> I have my own. I believe it should be picture show. Picture show. Yeah, I used to. Those are three. Picture show. Picture frame. Picture puzzle. Picture now, you, you may have one of those. Sure. Or you may have a better one in your little head. What do you say? I'll go with Richard. Picture frame. Picture frame. How much you weigh? Um, 89. 89 pounds? I thought that's how old she was. <laughs> what okay. She's looking for a picture frame. We're going to find out if it's up there, and if so, where. We'll begin down at the bottom, as we usually do, and reveal the $100 response. Picture oh, perfect. Uh -huh. An unlikely possibility, but there it is. Oh, it's my Picture story. frame, are yeah, you under yeah. the two hundred and fifty dollar number? Yes, it is. Congratulations, Penny, you got that. What do you think? Picture show? Hat. No, picture Hat. book. Picture, picture book. book. Picture window. Picture window. Oh. Picture window. Hey, that ain't bad. All right, Harold, slide it. Picture. Picture show. <laughs> right, good. Okay, now you've picked up another uh, $250. You're going to play for 10 times that amount, or $2,500. You have an even $6,900. Now, if you get another $2,500, that means you'll have $9,400. Am I not quick with my arithmetic? You sure are. Not quick enough. <laughs> Your old high school teacher's going to love you. Right, <laughs> she's here today. Oh. Uh, whom do you want? You take Richard. You take Richard. Okay, stand on the adhesive tape. Don't goof it up, you keep Richard. that there in case you cut your finger. <laughs> and uh, we'll find. I'll Thank get the you. thing here. It's worth two thousand five hundred dollars. You ready, Richard? Yep. Here it is. Now get your ESP going over to Richard. Have you got it going? I think so. Well, I don't think she's got it going. Do you? <laughs> Act of blank. Act of blank. All right. He's finished. Now, what do you say to that? Act of blank to match him to collect the twenty-five hundred. Of love. Act of love. Yeah. No. I don't mind if we do. Follow me, <coughs> Richard. What do you say? She's sure. the act of love's going to match for twenty-five hundred dollars. You're a lover. Both I would expect here. you to say that. Both these ladies wrote love. I said an act of God. Act of God. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Man. Well, actually, they're both good possibilities. Uh, act of mercy. Of act of mercy. Yeah. Other act possibilities, of too. Act of mercy. Act of violence. <laughs> All right. Now, Penny, you're going to meet another player and play another game. And if you're ready for that, we'll plow right on ahead and meet Donna Hatchet. Here she comes. <laughs> Well, we will welcome Donna Padgett. Shall we do that we and did. ask her to 
tell us where she's from and any other pertinent details you want to include. I'm from Whittier, California. I'm a secretary there, and I've been married to a great fireman for three months. A great fireman? Great fireman. I think all firemen are great. <laughs> yep. They go out there and they risk their oh, blanks oh. to protect our homes. <laughs> I and that's know. great. Let's hear, Let's hear it for the fireman there. Hey, fireman. <laughs> well, we're having a round of applause for the fireman. We want you to pay attention to this massage. <laughs> we are ready to carry on here. If uh, Donna Paget is ready, are you ready? I'm ready. You're feeling okay? Feel great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Donna. You may have A or B. A. You want A? Way to okay. go. What? Way to go. Right. Louis the Enforcer said. Uh-oh. Yeah? What'd he say? He says the mob is trying to economize. I still take my victims for a ride, but instead of a car, I take them on a blank. <laughs> That's what... Now, the, the, the operative word is, is uh... I still take my victims for a ride, but instead of a car, I take them on a blank. I go crazy when you get put like that, honey. It's <laughs> crazy. I can hardly wait to get Dencino. What are you doing later, lady? <laughs> you know. Okay. What did you say, Charles? All right. <laughs> Everybody ready? I hope so. Donna Padgett. Louis the Enforcer said the mob is trying to economize. I still take my victims for a ride, but instead of a car, I take them on a blank. Bike. Bike? You said bike. <laughs> you like bike? She said bike. I know she said bike. She I said was bike. sitting here. Can I, I heard it. Can I go home now? No, you... Before I got a shorty answer. You mean you haven't matched anybody yet? <laughs> I did once before. Once right. before. Yes. I said skateboard. Skateboard is very good. Even though it doesn't match her, it's still a good answer. Brett? What happened to that terrific little password play I used to sit <laughs> there to my rock? He's lost his touch, ain't he? <laughs> yes, he has. Bye, baby. Like it is. There it is. <laughs> what do you say? I said bicycle. Bicycle is <laughs> there. Put it. There's another one for Donna. I still take my victims for a ride, but instead of a car, I take them on a bike. Is she related to Deborah Paget? Are you related to Deborah Paget? No. No, she is not related to Deborah Paget. Nobody's ever heard of Deborah. Pa All right, hello, Deborah Paget. Where are you? I said bike too. Bike it is. <laughs> Three for Donna. Well, that's very unusual for a first round question, Donna. You're doing very well. Dynamite. But here goes another excellent password player down the tube. I said skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> You lost your well, touch too, baby. <laughs> now, Fanny. Yes, it does my heart good. I ne could never get on password. I never could play it, but I said bicycle. There she is. <laughs> well, you can get on Four for you. Ready, Penny? Okay, Penny. Penny, listen to this. The nurse said that patient on the operating table must be a cannibal. Uh, he asked me to put his blank in a doggy bag. <laughs> that, oh, dear sweetheart, what was that? I didn't hear the first part. That patient on the operating table must be a cannibal. He asked me to put his blank in a doggy bag. Oh, I see. Well, there are so many wonderful answers to that. Looking good. In, in Hawaii, by the way, you remember you complained that the TV guide Never put, they say match game, and yeah. they say uh, host, yeah. and they'll say Dick Clark, or, right. and yeah. or name Gary is, Moore, or whatever. Your name is there every day <coughs> well, in Hawaii. Finally talked to the guy in uh, uh, Radnor, Pennsylvania. Somebody named, uh, well, I can't think of his name now, but he said the computer was goofed up. You know, we've been on the air three years and never mentioned my, oh, we have to speed well, up got here. got it oh, now. You got it now, thank you. Hello there, Penny, you ready? Yeah. The nurse said that patient at the operating table must be a cannibal. He asked me to put his blank in a doggy bag. His bone? Really? I can't think of anything. <laughs> you didn't listen to it. Now, you didn't listen. I know. Patient on the operating table in a hospital. What would he be doing with a bone? Hello, Greg, show and tell. <laughs> I said liver. Liver is good. Oh, liver is good. Anything extracted, what do you say? Cannibal. Cannibal is the operative word. It said his leg. Put leg, his leg yeah. In. 
or appendicitis or anything like that. Charles, show I us. I chose appendicitis. Appendicitis is very good. Appendix, Not very tasty good. enough. Yes, he put. He asked me to put his blank in a doggy bag, and she said, "Bone." What do you say, Elaine? What's her name? I said hemorrhoid. His hemorrhoid. <laughs> All right, Richard, moving right along. Appendix. Appendix is a goody answer there, Fanny. Appendix. Appendix is another goody answer. Well, we're finished in the nick of time, folks. <laughs> and at the end of round one, scores four to nothing, favor the challenger. Round two happens at some time, but first thing. So, oh, I beg your pardon. I meant to be over here with you, because you said only got 20, so hello there, and goodbye there. We gotta go, we gotta stop right now. Will you come back next time? Yep. Yes. Good. All right. Don't be nervous. Everything will be all right. You were just splendid, but you'll improve. Uh, Gene Rayburn here. Join us next time for Match Game 76. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olson speaking for Match Game 76. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tottenham production. Thank <laughs> you.